Hello everybody and welcome to my Kuzenbo support guide. This video will be oriented for Conquest specifically, so for all other game mode players, you can skip this video or you can leave. There will be helpful tips that could help you in those game modes, but I don't play other modes other than Conquest too often, so just getting that out there. This is also the very first video on this channel. I used to make videos under the name Lycidius, uh, but for a while I've been wanting to rebrand and that's what this is. For those of you that have never seen any of my old videos, I am a support-oriented creator, and that's what you can expect to see on this channel. Guides, play-by-plays, and other fun stuff to help you become a better support. Kuzumbo recently received a pretty hefty buff with this most recent patch that has propelled him to be arguably one of the strongest supports and just characters in general right now. Coincidentally, he's also my very favorite character and the character I play the most. I have about uh, 8,000, 9,000 worshippers split between PC and PS4. So I have played this guy quite a bit, and I'm having a great time, obviously, with this uh, with these buffs he's received. This guide will be for players of all types and split up into different sections, um, such as Kuzumbo's kit, leveling and prioritization, itemization, and then tips, tricks, and strategies. All timestamps will be in the description, so you can skip to whatever you feel like you need help with, or um, you can watch the whole thing if you want. I recommend that newer players watch the whole video, whereas experienced or even intermediate players can probably start in the itemization section. Now that we've covered all of that, let's go ahead and begin with the guide. Kuzumbo's passive is called Water Bowl. Each time Kuzumbo takes 2% worth of his maximum health as damage, he is granted stacks of damage mitigation as his head fills with water, up to 10 stacks. These stacks will last 30 seconds and refresh when he gets another. If he is affected by true hard CC, however, he will lose half of these stacks, but that can only happen once every 1.5 seconds. It's pretty important to note that the over 2% of his maximum health he needs to take is calculated before mitigations and protections. This allows the passive to stack extremely quickly in the late game. The Water Bowl passive adds an interesting dynamic to Kuzumbo's playstyle. It encourages players to carefully manage their engagements, balancing their damage intake and mitigation potential. By timing your abilities and positioning wisely, you can optimize your damage mitigation stacks and become an even more durable force. While playing Kuzumbo, it's very important to remember to keep an eye on your Water Bowl stacks and make strategic decisions about when to engage or disengage. With proper management, you can turn the tides of battle in your favor, soaking up damage and frustrating your opponents. Kuzumbo is widely known throughout the community to be one of the gods that quote, simply cannot die. When played and built right, this passive is a very big reason why. Now that we've discussed his passive, let's talk about his active abilities. Kuzumbo's first ability is called Nene Kappa. Kuzumbo's Nene Kappa is a projectile with a 70 unit range that passes through minions and can ricochet off of walls up to two times, which can also extend its range. If the Nene Kappa hits an enemy god, it will apply a hefty slow and will open up and turn into a pet that chases the closest enemy and attacks them. I personally like to call this ability Timmy for happy fun times. You don't have to, that's just me. However, the <laughs> Timmy, or the Nene Kappa, serves as an extra source of damage that can harass enemies with its attack. You can also use it strategically to block incoming skill shots and auto attacks, or use it to disrupt enemy movement with a slow. While the Nene Kappa is in pet or minion form, it has a flat health plus health based off of Kuzumbo's own health and protections, making it extremely tanky and durable. Leveling this ability will increase the projectile damage and the pet attack damage of this ability, while also increasing the base health and slow percentage. With how high the damage is on the projectile portion of this ability, it should very much so be considered Kuzumbo's primary clear ability. Kuzumbo's second ability is called Shell Spikes. This ability is a self buff that has a 3 second duration where Kuzumbo activates his shell, reflecting a percentage of the damage back to his attackers based on this ability's level. Every time Kuzumbo is hit while this ability is active, the cooldown on his first and third ability is reduced by an amount based on the ability's level, making him extremely annoying and dangerous. This ability is great at punishing enemies for targeting him, and it's great for baiting opponents into unfavorable traits. This ability can also be activated while under the effects of crowd control. This includes stuns, knockups, all that stuff. Similarly to his passive, the damage reflection of this ability is calculated before mitigations and protections making him an extremely deadly character in the late game. What that means, just to clarify, you could have a full protection build 
and they'd be hitting themselves as if you were a squishy. It's very funny. Hunters hate him. Find out why. Uh, leveling this ability will increase the percentage of damage reflected. It'll also increase the cooldown reduction per hit, and it decreases the cooldown of this ability. There's a lot of reasons why you don't want to level this ability, and it's also something that just got buffed. They increase the reflection, so just things to think about. Kuzenbo's third ability is called Sumo Slam. This ability is a dash type ability with a duration of 1.5 seconds, where Kuzenbo charges forward, becoming immune to slows in the process. Yeah. During the dash, Kuzenbo damages any enemy minion or jungle camp he passes through. When Kuzumbo collides with the first enemy god he hits, he pushes them along with him while silencing them. This not only deals damage to the enemy god, but it also sets up an opportunity for follow-up damage from both Kuzumbo and his teammates. Each subsequent enemy he hits deals damage to both that enemy and the god Kuzumbo is pushing. This includes minions, jungle caps, and enemy gods. Colliding with a wall will also deal damage to the pushed god. Pushed targets can be hit a maximum of three times. Choosing the right targets to push and coordinate with your team can lead to devastating combos and can easily help with securing kills. While this ability is extremely powerful, it's very important to remember to use it somewhat sparingly and strategically as it's also Kuzumbo's primary form of escape and one of Kuzumbo's easiest and quickest ways to peel for his teammates. Leveling this ability only increases the damage per hit. However, if you look at the scaling of this ability, you'll notice that it heavily increases the damage per hit. With how high the damage is on this ability, it should be considered Kuzumbo's secondary clear ability. Lastly, Kuzumbo's ultimate ability is called Watery Grave. This ability is a hard CC damaging circle with a 22.5 unit radius and a 2.4 second duration. During this ability, Kuzumbo goes into a shell and begins spinning. He basically turns into a big old Beyblade that does lots of insane amounts of high damage. While this is happening, he summons a fierce current of water that are both a knockback and a knock up. Both. That matters. This ability also increases his movement speed and grants him 10% damage mitigation, provides CC immunity for the entire duration, and also allows him to move freely in all four directions. Basically, it removes the movement speed penalty for going backwards or sideways. This ability has a very high base damage, as well as very high scaling. However, each hit after the first one on an enemy deals 40% reduced damage. This ability is perfect for setting up kills or disrupting the enemy team's positioning during team fights. It can also be used defensively to peel through your backline, giving them a chance to escape or reposition. Similar to Sumo Slam, leveling this ability only increases the damage per hit. However, if you look at the scaling, you'll notice that it heavily increases the, the damage per hit. Now that we've gone over Kusumbo's kit, let's discuss ability leveling and prioritization. All of Kusumbo's abilities within his kit offer many different benefits as to why they should be leveled first. This leads to leveling and prioritization on Kusumbo being complex and confusing to a lot of players. There's also a good argument to be made on what to level depending on if you're playing him solo um, or support. However, this is a support oriented guide, so I will only discuss those options. Starting off, you will definitely want to take his first ability, the Nene Kappa, at level 1. The extra damage you will get from bouncing the Nene Kappa off of jungle walls will provide you with exceptionally fast clear, making him one of the highest clearing guardians in the game for jungle clear. At level 2, you'll pretty much always put a point in your third ability, Sumo Slam. This allows you to play super aggressive or defensive as it acts as a setup and escape, while also providing you with considerable poke and clear damage. At level 3, I would advise taking a moment to assess your situation. Are you fighting against a duel lane with frequent dot damage, such as AMC, Aphrodite, etc.? People who have really fast tick abilities, essentially. If so, taking your second ability here, Shell Spikes, could provide you with an amazing power spike as you can abuse the cooldown resets on the Shell Spikes, allowing you to spam your Nene Kappa and Sumo Slam. If, however, you're noticing that you aren't being attacked that much or just wish to focus on hyper clearing and farming, you can put another point in your first ability. At level 4, it's quite simple. If you took Shell Spikes, you'd level the Nene Kappa, and if you took the Nene Kappa, then you would level Shell Spikes here. 
At level five, you're always going to take your ult. The damage, mitigation, CC, and CC immunity is way too powerful to pass up and you'd need this ability. It can provide you with great engage. It can provide you with insane disruption. It can guarantee kills. It can also peel really well if you get ganked. And then after that, it's really up to your best judgment from here now. In previous patches, you would prioritize the ultimate as soon as you could due to the extremely high base damage. And then usually you'd go one, three, two in that order of priority. But with the recent buffs to shell spikes, I would actually recommend prioritizing one, two, four, three for most situations. That being Nene Kappa, shell spikes, ults, then sumo slam. However, for one, two, three, watery grave, Nene Kappa, shell spike, sumo slam is also an acceptable option here. And that is the ability leveling. There's a lot of information to unpack there. So before we go any further, I recommend pausing this video, taking a breather and giving yourself a minute to process the information before you proceed to itemization, because it's going to be intense. There's a lot of really good builds on Kusumbo and a lot of stuff got buffed. A lot of stuff got shifted. So it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Now that we have a good grasp of Kusumbo's kit, let's go ahead and talk about itemization and builds. As a support, your role is mainly to provide utility and protection to your team. Typically, that comes in the form of peel. You know, when a jungler or a soul laner dives your back line, so your carry, your mage, starts stunning them, starts killing them, and then you quite literally peel that attacker off of your teammate. That's where that term comes from. Now, it doesn't just have to come from peel. Supports offer utility in a few different ways. You know, Kuzumbo offers the reflect damage. He has lots of CC for that peel. Lots of disruption. He also has some high base damages and he has a really high level of tankiness, so he can provide lots and lots of utility. Now, as a good support player, it's very important to remember that you are synergizing well with your kit as well as your teammates' kits and also focusing on counter building as well. There's a lot you have to do to be a good support player. <laughs> on Kuzumbo specifically, you're going to want to look for items that have high levels of tankiness, so items with high defense, high health, or high mitigation, or also some utility items with MP5, cooldown reduction, or just general buffs and debuffs for your team and, and, and enemies. Now, Kuzumbo as a character, you typically want to play him pretty aggressive, and that's the way I play him more often than not. So the way I'm going to go ahead and do this item um, building and itemization section here is I'm just going to show you some items that I think go well in, in the slots. I'm not going to give you a cut and paste build here and say build this every game i'm going to show you what items go good in what slot and show you what i go most of the time i play now this may be pretty controversial as you may disagree on some of the items i pick here and that's totally fine you don't have to agree with me this is just my opinion and from what i've seen to work the best you know i've played a lot of hours on this guy i play him all the time and this is just what works best for me obviously you're not going to be me so it would work completely different for you I will try to the best of my ability to back everything up I can with as much numbers and information as possible. So be that as it may, though, you are still more than welcome to disagree with me. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about what items you want on Kuzumbo. So starting off with your starter items, it's pretty important that on Kuzumbo, you only go the support starters. I would highly recommend that if you're playing support, you really don't go any other starter. And the main reason for that is you really, really, really need that extra bonus gold you're getting from Sentinels, Benevolence, or even War Flag. These three items with that bonus gold are just way too strong right now. And, you know, you can win certain fights and engagements with that, those cheese items like the Conduit Gem or Warrior's Axe at the support lane. But come late game, which is where Kuzumbo does the best, you're going to feel an immediate drop off in your power and what you bring to the team. So it's just really good to get these support starters in the other game. Personally, between the three, I heavily rec recommend Sentinel's Gift, as this gives you just such insane stats. If you look at the starter itself, you get 10 of each protection, 75 health, and MP5, which is very strong. You know, if you remember earlier, I was talking about stats you want to build on Kuzumbo specifically, and this has all of that minus the cooldown. You could theoretically get War Flag. It does match his aggression pretty well. However, the upgrades to War Flag just aren't viable enough, in my opinion, to outweigh the benefits of Sentinel's. In terms of benevolence, I don't really recommend this too much on Kuzumbo. I think this is a bit of a non-bow on him, as um, if you go the compassion route, you can't use Blink, and Blink is arguably his best relic, Thorns being the second. And Heroism is too much of a counterpick specific item to go at every game. So I would just really recommend in this first slot, you prioritize Sentinels with a secondary, being that benevolence, 
but really you should never go into a compassion on him. You should be going into heroism if you can, if you get benevolence. Now, it is very important to remember that if you do go benevolence and into that heroism, you need to build a lot more prots than you normally would, as this item has no prots at all, whereas Sentinels and both of its upgrades have a huge amount of protections on it. In the second slot here, you have a few different options. Me, personally, I really like to go Prophetic Cloak here. This item did get a bit of a nerf. You know, they, ner they nerfed a lot of these aura items on supports. However, this item specifically offers a lot of value on Kuzinbo. You're getting 25 of each prot as a base, 100 health, and an immediate rush of 10% cooldown. That's very, very good. Plus, Kuzumbo can stack this passive insanely well. You know, every time you attack an enemy god, you get a stack of protections as an aura. And then once you hit max stacks, it evolves, giving you mitigations. That's very good. Kuzumbo can actually stack that passive with, with every one of his abilities. He can stack it with the Nene Kappa. He can stack it with Shell Spikes when you're attacking him. And he can stack it with the Sumo Slam and his um, Watery Grave. So it's a very good item on him. It synergizes with him and his passive really well. And it just makes him extra tanky. It's also very important to know that, you know, they did change how mitigation works and they nerfed it a little bit ago. Kuzumbo's passive and his ultimate mitigations that he gets can actually overcap the mitigation cap and it uh, allows it to do so. Um, you know, so they did revert that change. They made it so it actually adds up uh, uh, ability mitigations and item mitigations add and can go over cap. They don't stop at that 25% now. So it's very nice, you know. Um, a lot of the builds I'm going to be recommending to you can actually go into that 40% mitigation mark if you're ulting it. So it's really, really high and it's really fun. So that's the first item I recommend here. Previously, you could go Gauntlet of Thebes in this first slot. However, I don't think that's a great item on him. I've never really liked Thebes on Kuzumbo. There were a lot of times where it's just the best option you can go. However, it just relies you to play a little bit too passive for my liking. And it does give you a lot of protections, don't get me wrong. It gives you lots of protections, lots of health, HP 5, and aura protections, which is really nice. But it makes you rely on your carries to help you stack it, and I just don't like it. As opposed to Prophetic Cloak, which rewards you for playing aggressive. Thieves kind of rewards you for playing passive and just waiting till late game. Now, if you want to sit with your carries and do nothing for the first 20 minutes, that's totally fine. Go with Thieves, but just, in my personal opinion, you're better off going Prophetic Cloak or some of the other items I'm recommending here for you. Um, those are going to be Stone of Binding and Manticore Spikes. These, I think, are equally good in this slot. They each do different things, but they're very similar. Stone of Binding has 35 of each protection, plus 200 health. And then the passive is every time you hit an enemy god with a crowd control ability, um, you place a debuff on them, reducing their protections by 0.8 times your level. That's really good because, as you notice, it doesn't specify like a specific type of crowd control it just says crowd control that actually includes all types of crowd control including slows so because of that you can actually proc this with your nene your three and your ult making this a very good item on you you're able to reduce their protections and you're able to do lots more damage and you're able to let your team do lots more damage it's very fun and it's pretty tanky as well and then likewise you have manticore spikes which does a very similar thing when you hit them with hard crowd control they drop spikes in the ground. When you or an ally god pick up the spike, they gain a buff that causes their next ability to deal bonus magic damage equal to 4% of their own max HP. This is pretty nice. However, it does rely, again, on your teammates doing something for you or you kind of putting yourself out of position. So I'm not a huge, huge fan of this item. However, I do really like it because if you look at the stats on this, 30 of each protection. So you're getting five less than Son of Binding but you're getting 50 more health and you're also getting 20 mp5 that's a very very high number and this item should not be overlooked at all oftentimes i will myself just get this little t1 earring in this slot or not not in this slot but like the second slot or third slot rather just because of how much mp5 this item has you know for 400 gold 15 mp5 is really good if you find that you tend to have a lot of mana issues this is a really really good pickup and lastly, the other item that I can recommend you get in this like starter item slot is going to be Sovereignty as a like counter or flex pick. So if you're against a strong physical team, like four or five physicals, you should really consider rushing the Sovereignty. That physical protection and then aura physical protection is going to really help you out as well as your team. Not to mention the HP5 aura you're getting as well. This is just a very good item if you're going against, you know, a, a primary fizz team or specifically a double fizz dual lane. If you rush this item with it being so cheap, you just have an immediate advantage for the early game and it's really nice. But yeah, those are the starting items that I recommend.
you know, Prophetic Cloak, Sovereignty, Stone of Binding, or Manticore Spikes. More often than not, I'm personally going Prophetic Cloak or Manticore Spikes here in this slot, though. After that, it's pretty much a choice between these two items here, Stone of Binding or Manticore Spikes. Again, use your best judgment. If you struggle with mana a lot and, or mana consumption, mana usage, um, what have you, I would pick up this item. That 20 MP5 is going to make a huge difference for you in the late game. Whereas Stone of Binding, you can proc a lot easier because uh, Manticore Spikes, you can only proc off of your three and your ult. And Stone of Binding, you get your one as well. So it, it's just, you know, use your, use your brain, figure out what you want to go. The point of my video here, making this guide and showing you these items is I don't want you to have one build that you just use every game. I want to show you what items are good so you can pick and choose what you want to go in different games. And so also you build that skill. So when you're in the middle of a competitive or ranked match, you don't have to pull up this video or other videos. You can just say, hey, you know what? That cool Vrivius guy taught me how to make builds. Let's do that. You know, it's a very good skill to have in these types of games. And it's just very important. So, yeah. So in this slot, um, pretty much only ever going Stone of Binding or Manticore Spikes here. I personally prefer the Stone of Binding because mana is not too much of a problem for me. But if it is, then go to the Manticore Spikes. This next slot, however, the fourth slot, 100% of the time, it's going to be Pridwin. This is like a core item for Kuzumbo. You know, these three items, you're going to have some variation of Prophetic Cloak, Pridwin, Sovereignty, Manticore Spikes, Stone of Binding. But this slot is always going to be Pridwin. Pridwin is such a good item on Kuzumbo. 25 of each protection and then an immediate burst of 20% cooldown reduction. That is so strong. This plus that Prophetic Cloak puts you at 30% already. Helps you out immensely. And then not to mention that shield you're getting from Pridwin as well. And then by this point in the game, you would be about level 15 usually from my testing. All right. So as you can see, we're level 15. You'd have your starter upgrade by this point too. I'm, I'm doing this just because I want to talk about Pridwinder for a little bit more. Um, between the two starter upgrades, Boon or Embrace, I personally like Embrace just because of the aura prots it gives you. If you notice my build right now, I'm at 160, 140. Watch what happens when I get this item, the immediate jump you get. Right, 213, 194 at level at level uh, 15. And I don't even have any stacks of this cloak. Right, if I had this cloak stacked, 248, 229. That's a, that's, a huge, that's a huge difference. Even when you're near your allies and you split those protections, you are still well over 220 plus physical and then 214 magical. Like, you're really tanky with this build right here. Boon is really nice if you want to fight in waves a lot or if you're not fighting in the jungle a lot or if you're really sieging like if you're doing a lot of sieges as a team boon is a very good item because that heal you're getting is going to be very very relevant especially the later the game goes on because it's a percentage heal it's not a flat heal so that's the starter the reason i wanted to show you that now though is because once you get this prudent pridwin right this works so well with your ult because for those of you that don't know pridwin gives you a shield every time you finish ulting that explodes and does damage if you just look with the base shield Pridwin. it's not that bad you know it's a small little shield um it's i think it was 90 percent, so that'd be about 300 350 of your total health and protection something like that um but what really is nice about this item and why this is so core again on kuzumbo is because of the glyphs they gave it you have you now have the option of glorious pridwin or reverent pridwin glorious pridwin is basically normal pridwin except you get two explosions of damage one as soon as you finish ulting, and then one again after the shield expires. Whereas Reverend Pridwin gives you a 200% shield based off of your protections from items and abilities. Then, once the shield explodes, you slow targets for 25%. This plus your Nene Kappa leads to a lot of utility for your team. Not to mention, if I just buy this real quickly, and then ult again, look at the immediate difference this is going to make in that shield. Look at that. That has literally doubled and it's almost one fourth of your total health bar now that is insane that just makes you j so much extra tanky and then in those late game fights when you're 1v5ing because kuzumbo is one of the only gods in this game that can actually 1v5 you just you're so much harder to kill and another big reason why i like that item just to show you real quickly if i sell it then rebuy it to get the passive when you use your ult and you get that shield 
you can use your shell spikes here and then when they take the damage they're not even hurting you they're just reducing your shield so it, it synergizes so well with the shell spikes and so well with the thorns relic if you choose to go thorns which i will talk about a little bit later um, but it's just such a powerful item on him. It synergizes so beautifully. It's such a good Kuzumbo item. I highly, highly, highly recommend that if any of these items speak out to you as a core item, that it be Pritwin right now, especially with this glyph. This, either of these glyphs are busted. I, if it's not clear to you, I really prefer this one on him, but both are phenomenal right now. This last two slots in his build are really up to you. Um, this is where you really need to use some decision making and figure out what you want to do here. So this is when you have to ask yourself questions. I will give you a little bit of a uh, heads up and say that Kuzumbo does pretty poor into healers. So picking up some anti-heal here, even if they don't have a lot of healing, could be pretty strong for you. Um, I specifically, because you're so tanky already, I will get like one more defense item, like a Relic Dagger, Mail Renewal, Emperor's Armor, something like that, and then finish off with the Divine Ruin usually. But you could also do like a Spear of the Magus, Spear of the Desolation, something like that. Because you're really tanky with this build already. You really don't need to be more than 250 of each. And we're already almost there, so. But in this slot, you have lots of options. I personally like to use Relic Dagger. Kuzumbo uses Relics really well. And just being able to spam them is really nice. You know, this item does have Glyphs. So for whatever world you're living in where you don't get the Pridwin Glyphs, you could get these. But honestly, you just get the Pridwin one. It's so good. And Relic Dagger gives you lots of health. Finishes you off on your cooldown, puts you at the 40% with the extra 10% this gives you. Gives you crowd control reduction as well, and then movement speed. It's just a very nice item. This is my best in slot personally for him right now. You could go back here. If you got Manticore Spikes here, you could get the Stone of Binding. That's totally, totally fine and definitely very good. Um, if they have heavy physical damage, you could get a Sovereignty for your team. If they have heavy magic damage, you could get a Heartward Amulet for your team and just kind of shift your play style to make sure you group more with your team as much as you can. If you and your team needs healing, you could pick up a Mail of Renewal. This gives you lots of health, HP 5, um, 15 of each prot, and then a massive, massive health heal for you and your team. You know, if you're having trouble sieging or if you need help defending, you could always pick up an Emperor's Armor. Um, Anti-heal, you can get Contagion or Pestilence. And then if you want a little bit more mitigations, which you still can, you can get Oni Hunter's Garb. Now, this is another item that's always been core on Kuzumbo. It's not really right now. But it's still very good. So once you're once you have max stacks of this passive, it's um, three percent of damage mitigation. It caps at three stacks, putting you at nine percent. This actually plus the max passive of this, which we are almost getting right now. So if I were to buy this real quickly, now we would be getting that because we are plus six hundred. Um, and then so this plus your evolve prophetic cloak would be putting you. At about 49% if you have your max passive and your and your ulti. Because your, your passive gives you 15% um, mitigations. Prophetic gives you 7.5 and another 7.5 if you're at, um, over 600 protections total. And then your ult gives you another 20. So, and remember, the cap is 25% from items. Abilities can go over that. So, that will literally put you at 49% mitigation. So, if you really just never want to die... You buy this item, you blink into a team fight, you see like a Poseidon Kraken coming at you or a Vulcan ult coming at you, pop thorns, pop two, and then just ult in the middle of it. It'll hit you for like 10 and it'll hit them for a thousand. And you know, I will, um, I have something funny to show you in a little bit here, but this is not an item that should be slept on. I really like it. And it sucks. People do sleep on it, but it's okay. But yeah, you have lots of, lots of, lots of, lots of options here. So please don't be afraid to experiment. There's other ones I'm not even mentioning, but these are the ones that I recommend. So whatever you get here, let's say I want the Relic Dagger. Then you can think about what you want last item. Again, it's just these choices, honestly. It's what I it's what I said last time. You know, do you need anti-heal? Do you want more damage? Do you want more protections? Do you need help sieging? Do you need healing? It's what do you need? What does your team need? Just ask yourself the question. Maybe if ask your team the question in the text chat. But what I can what I can say is you're never in a bad spot if you're ahead in gold and you're in the lead to just get a divine rune here. This is the build. Well, this with uh, let me sell the Manticore spikes with sort of binding. This is the build I went in those earlier clips where I'm one v one in my friend testing out this build for the video, 
And you can see, like, he as a carry, he, they just die instantly when you have your relics active. It's so strong. And, you know, never be afraid to get a damage item on support, especially right now. You know, protections are so strong. And when you're at this 250 mark, you really don't need anything more. You know, like, if I set myself to level 20, which is what you would be at this last item slot, you can see I have 270, 242 with this build, right? And that's with a damage item. You Don't be afraid to get damage items. You know, if you didn't get a Relic Dagger here, this could absolutely be a Spear of Desolation. Or if you want even more Prot Shred, this could absolutely be a Spear of the Magus. You have so many different options and it should never ever be something you don't consider. You know, don't feel ashamed if you want an extra damage item here, right? Like, as I mentioned earlier in the abilities area, Kuzumbo's abilities have insanely high scaling on them. Damage per hit 200. So every time you hit an enemy, through a minion, it's doing 200 damage, so to maximum of three. So that is 600 damage you can do to a carry just by pushing them through minions. That's insane. Or the Nene Kappa, 240 plus the attacks, or your ultimate. You have lots and lots of damage in your kit. It's not a bad idea to get a last item, last item damage option. I promise. I, I promise. I know I talk, I'm talking a lot about it, but that's because there's a lot of stigma around it, and it's kind of funny. Alrighty, so now that we've talked about items, let's go ahead and talk about what relics you should have got on Kuzumbo. And then this will conclude the itemization portion of this video. So first off, we have to talk about the no-brainer relic, and that's Blink. Blink is such a strong relic on Kuzumbo. This is honestly a needed relic on him, I would say. You're gonna get this every game, in my opinion. Blink is just such a good relic on him. You Your Blink dash combo, your Blink ult in a big team fight, you just have so much value. Blink lets you peel for your team easier. Blink lets you engage easier. It's just such a good relic. Especially once you morph it into Fire Blink. You can get Corrupted Blink, but Fire Blink is just going to be your play here, honestly, because Kuzumbo is one of the few gods in the game that can really, really get some value out of Fire Blink by doing stuff like this. Pushing them on the Fire Blink, or blinking in, pushing them back on the Fire Blink, and just body blocking them on there doing lots of damage to them. Now, Fire Blink is, of course, true damage, so even if they were a tank, they're still going to take that 700 damage. It's insane. You're able to do so much damage and provide so much utility to your team with this Fire Blink rune. Second relic, again, we have to talk about the obvious. That's going to be Thorns. Thorns is such a good relic on Kuzumbo. I really need to specify the on Kuzumbo because Thorns actually sucks. It's only good on Kuzumbo. He actually makes this almost an S-tier relic, in my opinion, because of how well it synergizes with this too. I'll actually throw up a screenshot now on the screen of me um, soloing a Poseidon, like one-shotting a Poseidon, who had ulted me while my Thorns and two were active. And I didn't even know he was there. I was trying to solo an Apollo, and the Poseidon just came out of nowhere and killed himself. It was ridiculously funny, let me tell you. Now, as for Thorns, I actually quite like both of these morphs. I think this one has a, a little bit more value. You know, you're getting movement speed and attack speed for every enemy god within a 70 unit radius. That's really nice. It makes you really fast, makes you attack really fast. It's not bad at all. Plus, um, I believe with this one, Thorns actually lasts a little bit longer. Yeah, this one is five seconds. This one is three seconds. This should really be gold. I don't know why, I don't know why the five seconds is grayed out, but yeah. Whereas the sapping strength is pretty good if you're against a lot of auto attackers because of how it uh, reduces the cooldown to this relic. If you have Relic Dagger, Thorns of Sapping Strength is actually really insane because it's on like a 20 second cooldown um, because of how often you're going to have this up when they just auto attack you because, and I don't know if this is intended or not, but it, <laughs> the auto attacks reduce the cooldown while it's on cooldown. I, it, the, the wording makes it seem like it would be while it's active, but no, while it's on cooldown, if you just get hit with an auto attack, it'll reduce the cooldown. It's it's pretty good. Once you get that Relic Dagger, I mean, because look at this. Right now, it's cooled on 80 seconds. Relic Dagger is going to take that down to 40. And then if you get hit by like 20 auto attacks, it's going to take that down by another 10 seconds. So it's, it's pretty good. But yeah, Blink Thorns is going to be your main two relics in the bow. Um, You're going to get these almost every game. Other relics you can get, though, um, you are going to keep the blink like we said, but you can also look to get a, a shell, you know, specifically if they have a enemy god like Odin or Ymir or somebody who has really annoying walls, phantom shell is going to be a must buy in most scenarios 
or you can get the fortifying shell giving your teammates some mitigations movement speed um you can get sunder sunder is insanely good especially on kuzumbo specifically pink sunder green sunder isn't that good this you again just true damage to the entire team for like 400 very good this plus fire blink is almost a guaranteed kill just with the relics sometimes so funny bracer is really good if you get the um the left morph that lowers the cooldown heavily and also gives you the power and movement speed no matter what horrific is very good um frenzy is very good you don't ever 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 want to go agus on kuzumbo sprint is meh not great not terrible curse donk is pretty good you know he does do pretty rough into healers so this is not a bad item to get it also can reduce the shields similar to sundering spear beads is actually not a horrible item to get on kuzumbo or just any support for that matter if if they have like hard cc on every one of their um characters don't be afraid to get a beads you don't really need it on him though because of the cc you mean ult so don't worry about that too much and then teleport's okay doesn't really do much you know on paper it sounds great like teleport to your lane to your allies lane to help peel but doesn't do much i would say most scenarios you're going to be getting blink thorns sunder or shell and that's just it that is what it is hello everybody um this is the final part of this video where I talk about tips and tricks on Kuzumbo. I figured it would just be better to do like a play-by-play -play kind of style for this as opposed to doing a... like assembling clips and then talking over those clips. I thought that this would be more fluid and just feel a little bit more lively than just hearing me ramble on. That's a Hades support. That's very interesting. So first things first, my first tip is you want to really try to play aggressive as Kuzumbo, right? So you want to really get in there, play as aggressive as possible, punish them for any decisions that they made, just like that. They came to lane super, super low. I don't know what abilities Hades started. I think he started as two. Ah, also look, sends of time. Very bad start there. And then there we go. There's nothing else. Well, this might be done a little bit earlier than I thought. Oh, well, that's okay. <laughs> I've been trying for like four games to get this game recorded. The video keeps getting corrupted, so I will take whatever I get at this point. Um, but real quickly, what can I talk about that engagement? They both came to lane super low. That's a very big no-no against the Kuzumbo. You really need to play carefully against Kuzumbo because he's going to do what I just did. Blink in and then dash you. And you just kind of die there if you're not low enough. Also, this Hades is making a big misplay. He's going Sands of Time instead of a support starter. You really need to be tanky right now. Tank items are so strong. Let's push up a little bit, see if I can bait something out. Did he start his fear? Is that what happened there? He might have started his fear or silence, whatever that ability. I think it's silence. Yeah, I don't play Hades like ever, so <laughs> I'm not too familiar with that ability. And then that uh, Hachiman just became victim to the long range Nene shot and then Caribdis killed him because of Caribdis damage. All right, you I think you just die here because you fell for the Titan trick again. No, Hachiman dashed in to save you. You should count yourself lucky. Oh, do you still die? No, you don't. There is a chance we can kill him here. Actually, no, he's he's healing too much. I was going to say, I could hit a really long range of Nene and that would kill, but I could have body block here if I can. Oh, I missed that. That's on me. If I hit that, we could have got a kill again. But yeah, right now, we're just, we really want to play as aggressive as possible. Level 4 should take the 2 here. Make Take that. Oh, where'd my characters go? I was not paying attention. That's on me. I almost died there, and that was 100% just on me. Nice job. There we go. We got the kill with the Nene. That's exactly what we were waiting for, him to just push up in a weird position, and we hit him with the Nene. Because even if the Nene doesn't kill, he's going to get an auto off, and that, if they're low enough, that usually kills. It's, the Nene is very good at securing kills, as you will come to notice. And what Carapus is wanting to do here is completely correct. We have a huge lead on these guys. We're 4-0, three minutes in. We definitely want to invade here. Hopefully this game goes on for longer because I really want to show you guys more stuff. All right, they're starting to get some kills, so it's looking good for us, actually. All right. We're already at 1,900 gold. Jesus. We can back like right now if I wanted to. Get the triple bounce on this if we can. Put a point in the ult. The duo might just... AFK and I really hope they don't, but kind of don't super blame them if they do. At least the Hachiman, he's getting really trolled by this 80s. Super unfortunate. Um, yeah, looks like they're just gone. 
That's a huge wave too. All right, well, let's go get this purple and we're going to back. Oh no, he's, he's coming. Um, can we punish him again? I think so. Oh, maybe we're the ones that get punished. Nope. She should actually be okay. No, am I okay? That's the real question. Yeah, we're fine. Kind of surprising that we survived that gank. Oh yeah, we attack. We go in here hundred percent. That's touch him on beads and meal put down. That's a lot of value right there. Let's see if we can bait somebody out here. That's raw beads. Bobby Yaka's here too. Ah, the ricochet didn't hit. That's so unfortunate. Pop another health pot here. Just because I really want to stay. Oh, Carib just died. No, she stayed for too long. I should really go get my uh my cloak, but I just want to keep fighting. No, I missed. Oh, I might die. Nope, she hit the thing. We're okay. Missing that dash there is criminal. Um, I, I don't know if I mentioned this in the video, but I kind of suck mechanically. I'm only good at building and game sense. <laughs> the curve on the dash is a little hard to hit sometimes, but that was a pretty good fight, I would say. Um, who did we lose? We lost Caribdis. Did we lose Fenrir? No. So now we are pretty good in the dual lane. We finish Cloak, which is really nice by five minutes. And we can start. Do I want Manticore? Do I want Binding? Let's go Manticore. Um, and then wards, of course, and then a century. All right, now it's looking to rotate. We can start really abusing Kuzumbo's power now because we have three points in the one, which is going to make us extra, extra tanky. Not us, extra tanky. Sorry, the Nene is going to be extra, extra tanky, and it's going to do lots of damage. So we can start abusing him for poke, and this will be lots of fun. And now we have the earring for MP5, which is really nice. Um, let's go for a, a play here. Let's jump. Raw's beads should be down. I don't think he knows that I exist. Goodbye. All right, so we lost Fenrir, but we traded for Raw. That's actually pretty worth here, especially since we got Raw ult and Fenrir didn't ult. Yeah, that's just worth. And with the Nene, just stacking our cloak. Another point, the one here. I will be maxing the one over the ult just because I'm doing so much damage right now. Get a ward up here. Be really aggressive with these wards. He just dashed in. Let's kind of abuse that if we can, actually. I don't think we kill, but we can be really annoying. Actually. Yeah, I don't kill. Ah. Uh, never doubt the Nene power, boys. <laughs> I was really confident I could kill, and then the ult didn't do nearly as much damage as I thought it was going to. That's on me for forgetting that I leveled it, or that I didn't level it. Um, but then Nene. Nene did what I thought it was going to, and what I said a little bit ago. Nene secured that kill for me. And then minions, obviously. Nene is so good. I'm okay with trading there. This guy's already behind, so me just killing him on cooldown is going to be mega valuable. I don't know what happened with our Fenrir, but... He's pretty angry, it sounds like. Do I have a bounce here? Yeah, I do. All right, thank you, buddy. Hmm. Just put a sentry here. They have a sentry or two. I'm so smart. Let's get that gold. And then let's just split that minion. Give me the stack, thank you. We are now at five. Living the good life. Hades is going Thebes into Eerie. That's no. Oh, Hades is not building what he wants to build right now as a Hades support. Also, Hades support is just kind of bad. Alright, we got one. Does he ult here? What's he doing? That's the beads. I don't. Yeah. I don't know what that was. This guy kind of just commits a little too hard. Another point two. Okay. I got a peel, mega peel right now. This is going to be a sketchy ass moment. Hot the dash. He took a tower shot. 
Oh, uh, we're gonna really need some to heal. All right, we got her out. That I had a really focus there, as you saw, because that best set was going to kill her. And then she pushed up, not realizing that Raw was back, even though he walked right over the ward. Fun stuff. That's a moment where you just hit the I'm the greatest against that. Oh, but he came in. It was a bait. It's okay. It was a bait. Guys, I'm doing really bad with the dashes today. I'm so sorry. Normally, I'm really good with those dash plays, as I think you saw earlier in the video, but that's okay. All right, let's get that Manscore Spikes. And now let's get a, another ward. That's okay. We all we all have misplays here and there. I mean, you did just see me play out of my mind to peel for my fucking Baba Yaga, and then she walked back up to die to the raw ult, even though he walked on wards, so. This guy's one in four, and he's a level higher than me. I think it's because he's last hitting minions. Because I have so much more gold than he does. Then again, I do have that support starter, so that's the difference. Also, XP doesn't really matter as a support. It's really all about the gold. All right, we finished off the Nene, so now we can start putting some points in our ult. Um, hello? Hey, Timmy. Katie's just pushing up here. Um, our carry is coming back now, so there's nothing I can do over there. So we're just, uh, yeah, I'll split this wave. That's another thing I'm doing is I'm trying really hard to not split every wave with Baba Yaga. I'm like going back and forth with her so that way she's still getting some solo farm. Hey, buddy. This is actually just good for me. I missed that Nene. Hmm. I don't think we catch him in time. He's let's just keep this off of the Fenrir. He's going for it. Is that a kill? I really don't want to steal it, but I might have to. All right. They were able to secure it. I was holding the Nene specifically to in case I needed to uh, ult there. Um, I was a little late there, but that's okay. Gotta remember, there's a bit of a delay on Kuzumbo. Oh, there's a Loki. There's a bit of a delay on Kuzumbo, so it's not going to come out the second you press it. Kind of annoying. I might get to find a rune a little bit earlier than I normally do here. Ah, uh, Timmy didn't get the slow off. That's so tragic. He's just dead. Even if we were closer to him, we can't really peel that Loki just yet. Oh. This actually might be pretty good for us. All right. Loki should be dead here. Yep. We at least got the return kill, which is not amazing, but, you know, it's something. They didn't pay attention to the pains. And then they uh, all went back in and kind of shinted. Let's grab this. This is super important. I, I don't know what clones are in, but we really should try to grab this. Oh, where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? I'm being trolled right now. I don't know why he's just not down here with me. Yeah, I don't know why not. Just all stay on it. You need to stay on it. That's so important. That's just a flat buff you get from this. All right, well, this Hades killed himself. Did we get that? I got to be really careful here. This is so sketch. I want to be there to give them some more prots, but I'm just so low. Yeah, I'm just back here. I have to play smart. Got to trust my team to be able to make the plays. Yeah, he. Yeah, yeah. See? I don't want to get ulted by that. Little there it is. There it is. All right. And overall, we're not playing too bad this game. You know, we had a really, really great early game. Sus mid game just because I missed my dash a few times. But other than that, we're doing pretty good. There are a few moments where I definitely could have peeled better for my team. And that's okay. I got to switch my mindset a little bit of this game. Um, I think I... No, I, I was going to say, I think I blink on that guy. But I don't know if his beads are up or not. And I don't want to full commit not knowing if his beads are up. They did not reward that. So let her finish that, and then I will get this. Yeah, now the Hades is two levels down, and he's down like 2k gold. Jesus. We are just having a great time now. now. Give me those cooldown resets, please. This is taking a lot more mana than I wanted it to, but that's okay. I at least got to solo it, which is nice for me. 
They split the red buff. Ooh, let's go left lane. I'll attack left lane. Um, let's be sure not to walk on that, just so they don't know I'm here. Alright. Oh, that's Thunder. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Kind of want to go fight this Bastet. I can go get Thorns now, so that should be considered. This is looking pretty fun. That's his dash. That's his ult. We got the ult. That's really nice. Oh, he came back in. I took the Bastet ult. We love that. Now we just ult out of the Hades ult. Push her into the wall. Hit her with the Nene, securing the kill. We are playing out of our minds, boys. Hit the two in case he attacks us for the resets. Dash in one. Let's level the dash here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do I have plays? Do I have plays? Do I have plays? Do I have plays? Let's wait and see, wait and see, wait and see. No plays. No plays, no plays, no plays. He's pushing up. We might have plays. Gold Fury is definitely the play here, but this is... Ah! Our minions died a lot faster than I thought they would. Yeah, let's go get Gold Fury. Alright, so a big thing you can do here is use your Timmy to tank if you can. Kakolan did not want Timmy to tank, so that's okay. But, you know, again, if you're in comms, in like a competitive setting, I say back up, we'll use Timmy. Ooh, we gotta body block this guy. Keep him out of here. Just got a zone. Our Fenrir is hardcore diving for this. We're not gonna be able to help him in a little bit here. He got the kill at least. Got the blink ready. Oh, he had beads. We love that. That's so good. Put a ward here. Oh, Bobby I already had one. Whoopsie. Alright, Loki's here. We're healing quite a bit. I need physical stacks, so I need to focus on physical guys right now. Ooh. Hades just took my stack. That's okay. Was that Hazel? ult? It was. I saw the green icon. That was a weird ult by Hades. That's pretty valuable. Uh, we can go get Thorns and Critter One now. I've been able to get Thorns for a while. I just got to go back. We're in a very good spot right now. Um, this is a huge back for us. Critter Win. Thorns. Let's actually get the Glyph just because I have gold for it. And she's some more words. And now we just save our gold for... Um, what is it? Um, Sentinels Embrace. I actually, do we want to do Boon here? We're not really fighting in the jungles too much. We're mainly fighting in waves. You know, I'll see. We'll we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. When I hit 15 and have enough gold, I will back and then reassess the situation. This guy is so behind in levels and XP. This is so good for us. We're 5, 1, and 9 right now. Absolutely insane, guys. Um, Loki's pretty low-ish. He's kind of half. Not really low. But I'm going to come over here just to kind of be annoying. Ah, there he is. I don't really care for a kill. I literally just want to get stacks of my passive if I can. My cloak passive. No, I needed to be in there. This guy is weird with the Sunders. Oh, Revenant is on the raw. That looked like beads. I'm going to commit to the raw. Where's he at? He's going far. Uh, we couldn't get it. I'm gonna die here for that. That's so sad. I misplayed that horribly. I thought I could catch up to the raw a lot quicker than I did. I just did not do that. That's okay. You know, sometimes it's gonna happen. Is what it is. You can choose to get upset about it, or you can recognize where you made a blatant misjudgment in your in your play. And that was that. I I thought raw was a lot slower than he was, and I thought the slow would do more. And then once I realized I can't kill him, I should have just immediately ulted and tried to leave. And then I didn't do that. So then I just died because I got CC to all health. However, it's not that it's not that bad. Tachimon's building atrociously. Odibo into Jotuns. What the heck? This is a baby game. This is a really bad baby game, but that's okay. I feel like this is a very educational game because I've made so many mistakes, but also I've done so many good things for my team that it's actually been really 
Um, it's actually bounced out pretty well. Oh, my two is down. Gotta be careful of that look on the right. I'm trying to keep my eye on him. He's right there. We're okay. Should we go for him? That's his ult. All right. The big thing you have to do as Kuzinbo and just supports in general, if you see a, a character that can just one shot your backliners, keep an eye on them. Especially one like Loki. I am so excited for when I get this Divine Rune. It's going to help so much. Hit the Nene. -nay. I really need to start getting some physical gods, though. My job here is the zone. I think we're okay. I think they just get it. Let's put, um, hope they get it. They do. Nice. Look at those cooldown resets, man. That's insane. Be careful. This guy might be dead. I don't really... I'm too low to help him right now. I'm so squishy. I think I will go Embrace just because I'm so squishy. Let's go get it now. I have enough gold. Watch this number go up. Ready? Bam! We're in the 200s now. Such a good item. Such a good item. Let's get that. And then... What do I want next item? Do I want the Relic Dagger this game? Or do I want to just get Divine Ruin now? And then Relic Dagger. Relic Dagger last is pretty sus. So probably Relic Dagger than Divine Ruin. I also don't need the Relic Dagger. That is definitely not something that I need. But it would be nice. I need to run at this Hachiman a little bit more. And kind of just force him out of these fights. He's not going to do anything. Though. At the same time I don't really need to. Right now, I need to be focusing the Bastard and the Loki. Those are my two targets. Raw can't really do much against him. He's just too quick. And then the CC immunity is kind of fucking me on his ult and then his beads. I don't know if Raw is slow immune in his two. It sounds like he would be. That was a horrible Raw ult. Let's just ult here to keep this Hades off of my backline as long as we can. Alright, do I thorns here? I think I do. Just to keep him off our backline and me. They took a lot of damage to themselves. Let's go in here. In the wall, they killed him before he even got to the wall. Hell yeah. The nice thing about Kuzumbo Dash is not only does it like push them, it also silences them. Oh, we got the beads. That's huge value right there. Don't know if we can get anything off of it though. At least on this fight, but we will. More than likely gets in the next fight. We are two stacks away from fully stacked cloak. That's so huge for us. Forget that. I don't think we can push this. And you need to just poke out with my Nene right now. Let's get some sick bounces. Oh, that was so close. Always look for those ricochets if you can, if you're trying to get some pokes. Just because people don't really expect the range. That is horrible. Uh, that is horrible for her. This is where we go. Um, yeah, we just got to leave retreat we definitely oversee the welcome and then all of our teammates are just gonna die now they didn't recognize it was time to leave and then uh our character just kind of died so we're just we're just not a great uh pushing team and that's okay you no know, emperor's armor could be pick up here do i want pestilence i don't think i need it i you know i don't think i need the pestilence but do i want pestilence you know, Ross doesn't have that much pen, so my 200 actually should be fine. Get this Relic Dagger. Yeah, I think the Relic Dagger Divine build is absolutely fine here. I just, I, I there's definitely more I could be doing for my team. I'm, I'm playing pretty well. There's just more that I could do. Oh, this Baba build is so funny. She's going for the Stacker build. This is for passive. I love that. Let's force the dash if we can. There it is. Did we really get two of those beacons, or is it just bugged? I think the beacon is bugged as hell right now. Because I don't remember the second one spawning at all. But maybe it did, and I'm just having a fever dream. There's a Hachiman here. I really need a stack. Please, Hachi. Give it to me. Nene, give it! Hell yeah, we got it. That's huge for us. That just instantly made us so tanky. 
All right, well, that's okay. Yolt doesn't really do anything to me, Hades. Damn, I couldn't get to her in time. I'm sorry. Kinda need our team to fight with us. We're also, this is such a bad fight because there's just nothing that we get off of this. Gold Fury's down. At most, we get like, Pyro. Fender kind of just killed himself there by Elkin Bastet. That was a horrible decision. Uh, that's not great, guys. I'm not, I'm not sure why Fenrir has such a hard on for the Bastet, but it's okay. Also, I think this is horrible on him. Because only us for defense is this. Alright, and then she stayed. I mean, I could blink in, but I'm not going to get anything off the blink, so. Let's just clear. Make sure they don't get fire. That's all I can really do right now. Hey, bestie. You, I will fight. They're going to get the third one. That's okay. We got two stacks, it looks like. Actually, maybe I can go in here. I have a teammate's coming, maybe. No! I'm trying so hard, Kiribis. Oh, there we go. That's that Thorns value that we were looking for. She killed herself. How much did it do? Holy... Jeebers, it did 400 to the fucking Hachi, man. All right, Fender just outright died. That was actually kind of funny to watch. Oh, this is still up. <sighs> I got a ward on it. I'm going to die. I got the ward, though. You know, who's the real winner here? I, I, I just, it's not worth it. It's very, it's very important, but I'm just solo right now. I'll throw a Timmy. Maybe Timmy can help. Timmy could not help. Raw, you rat bastard. Stop in my back. This game is a big arena game. It's really funny. Hopefully you guys are finding this somewhat educational. If not, I'm sorry. I don't think I have it in me to try to record another game. And honestly, there's been a lot of really good plays and a lot of really good tidbits that I've set out here. All right, Gold 3 is back up. So now these mid fights are starting to make sense. They haven't been making sense for a while, but I'm kind of just playing follow the leader right now. I haven't really been able to make any calls just because half my team's been dead or half of their team's been dead. And whenever we've gone to push, our team has failed miserably. So it kind of just is what it is, you know? I should have triple bounced that. Actually, this is OP because now we have the Chester and Bobby Yaga's going to split with us. Oh no, they got the fire giant. What are we gonna do, guys? Hyra's really needs to change that sound. It's so ridiculous how it act like how sounds genuinely like fire giant. I should go put a ward on Gold Fury, but looks like we're grouping for a right fight, and I really need to be here. Also, being here with my uh thorns is actually super important now. What's this ward? We're gonna lose mid tower. Our Fenrir is fighting a Hachiman. I see a Loki over here. Let's just start fighting the Bastet. Alright. Get them off of my Capolan. I think he's just dead though. Yeah. We gotta retreat. That Loki honestly killed himself there. He took so much Thorns damage in two. Look at that. Actually, he didn't take that much, but he kind of gave away his stealth, which is really funny. Thorns has even more benefits. Oh, Ra hit himself with that. That's beautiful. It's not gonna. Get, I don't think that's gonna get a kill, but it might. No. Oh, he got the kill on Hades. He's dead for it, maybe. Yeah, he did die for it. Care just dead too. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Oh my God, you're insane. You're actually insane. I want this so bad. My blink didn't go off. 
<laughs> oh, she died to the Titan. That's so funny. Ooh, I think I save for this, unironically. Get in there, Timmy. Show him who's the boss. This is a massive bait. We can't really get any objectives right now because Herbis is in Fountain, so so unfortunate. Hope we see them coming. And the Hachima did not fall for the massive bait. Um, I don't think we do Big Fire. We can maybe do Pyro. But let me back. Get this uh, Divine T2. Let's get Fire Blink. And then let's just dash over there. Hopefully they listen to that VGS call. However, it looks like they're really determined for the Fire Giant. Okay, they backed off. Thank goodness. That was a really odd play. I have great news, though. This game is going on for a lot longer than I thought it would, which means we're just getting infinitely better. I need me some 3k pots. Nice. There's a raw here. My teammates are killing themselves. I'm I'm part of my teammates apparently. Woo, I got one. <laughs> okay, we did a lot there, but that's all right. I went in and tried to help the uh, the Fenrir and the Caribdis. Caribdis at least got out. Fenrir did not, but two for three. Me dying there is really bad because a lot for my team right now <laughs> i mean look how much damage i made them all take just from thorns and two nana even did so much my three 264 we did lots there i gotta finish this divine run 150 that was such a bad fight our fender just keeps kind of trolling and my support instincts are telling me to go help him but i really need to just let him die but then being down the fender is really bad so it's a horrible trade-off, and she should have just let them have Pyro. I don't even know why she contested there. Her life is not worth. My life is worth. Like, if they kill me, I don't care. Although I am 7 and 3 and 16. I'm I'm doing so much <laughs> for, the, for my team. Um, it's it's quite funny. Um, I hope I hope this is enjoyable for you guys. I do plan on doing a lot of play-by-plays in the future. A lot of them will be ranked, so the games will be a little bit more competitive, but. As I mentioned previously, my ranked buddy is asleep or and or busy and uh, our MMR is just far enough apart that if I play any game without him and I win, I cannot queue with him for a long time. So <laughs> I have, I can only queue with him. I'm, I'm kind of stuck. Retreat. Please. I, I, uh, I don't want you dying right now, Fenrir. I love you and I, re I respect the hell out of your let's go in energy. Like, you have no idea how much I respect you right now, bro. But we just cannot do this. Maybe she should focus the raw. My attention's been on the bass set and the uh, Loki, but raw could be good too. How much did that do? 355. Oh my god. Late game Kuzumbo 2 is so strong. Hey, bass set. The downside to Bastet is she doesn't really... Oh, I... oh, that's the wrong way. I got trolled. Am I dead? No, 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 no. I got... That's a Prudwin Glyph diff right there. That shield I just got. Holy... I dashed in the wrong way. I trolled a little bit there. Um, Looks like we have two in left right now. That's always hot. Let's go call him building. Is he tanky? Oh, he's pretty tanky. He honestly, he just needs a little bit more mitigation, I think, actually. He doesn't have any. Okay. Good news. Uh, we just got Divine Rune, which means we might actually be able to solo some people. Do the one, do the whole 1v5 stuff that I always talk about on Kuzumbo. With green buff, we're at 3880 health. Um, if I get a 3k pot, which looks like I might this game because of how long it is. Um, we're going to be sitting pretty good. Going to be sitting pretty good. There's a look here. Let's just reward. In the wall, please kill this guy. He has timeline? 
That's so troll. Oh, I gotta get my fire blink. I haven't blinked in a long time. Or thorns. Actually, I, I thorns a little bit ago. Look at that two damage, man. I'm just gonna try killing this Loki. That's my only play there. Got the slow and the raw. That's his beads. Oh, we got a nice double there. All right, Hashima jolted in. I have a play if I can get my thorns, my blink up, but uh, yeah, I couldn't really buy a block much there, unfortunately. Can't body block the Hachi ult. Could have body blocked the Bass at all, but then we both just die, I think. All right, maybe this time things will be different. Do it, bro. Come on, do it. <laughs> to me, it's so hard. I love Nene. <laughs> Let's leave. Before we make the same mistakes our other teammates did and they stay too long. Can I just back here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't. We're totally fine. Our team needs to go for more objectives. Uh, maybe I should make the call. But I don't want to make the call. So kind of fun. You know, the longer this game goes, the more fun it is. And the more things I can say about Kusumbo. I love Kusumbo, right? I mean, by the end of this game, I expect I've done at least 20k damage. At least easily. It might even be 30k. Actually, that's pushing it. I haven't really gotten too much Thorns value this game. A shell might have been good here. But honestly, now that I got Thorns upgrade, I might get a lot of value. So we'll see. Let's just go try to fight Raw and see what happens. Got my nanny back up again, dude. Look at that. These cooldown resets are insane. Okay, Fender's killing himself. Ooh, he actually got it. I just got sundered by Hades. Let's see that. Fender is getting hardcore chased by Basta. Let's push you in the wall. Let's just ult out here. Hey, buddy. Body block, body block, body block. Oh, I can't get the body blocks in time. Push him in the wall, body block. You got the dash. Thorns! Woo! We should do fire here. Actually, we might have been... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's a better call. That's a better call. Actually... I didn't think we have the deeps to end, but Herbdus is here. Ooh, maybe we don't have the deep stun. Although we have a single minion. But they have two towers still up. That is the play. Let's put a ward here. Let's put a ward here. Um, do they need me for this? Because I might just have to zone this Loki. Oh, he's actually so far out. I mean, I'm not going to do lots of damage to it. Just kind of has to be both of them. I will stay on it though for the Loki. Me and Fenrir can both zone him off. Yeah. I don't think we get this. Oh, he just. He just. Oh! Alright. We got Loki ill too. So I didn't talk much there. I had to really focus to try to kill that Loki. And peel for the Fenrir. Let's get a 500 pot. Just like him. Uh, this game's gonna be ridiculous to end. They don't have any tanks. I mean, uh, Hades is kind of building like a tank, but like, not really. But their defense is so strong with that Hades ult. And then just Hachiman being able to just spam his stuff. And the Hachiman's smart and he knows how to stop attacking me when my thorns is up. <laughs> Doesn't really diminish the value too much because you still got a lot of value if you just walk into like a Thor. Thor, what the fuck? Into a, like a raw ult or something, but it does definitely feel a little bad when the, when the dude just stops autoing you.
Especially when he has such a bad... Oh, he sold the oboe. Oh, he's going crit into a bow. That's crazy. Crit into the bow. The Kuzan bow, that is. Let's just ult here. This is such a huge ult for the team. Oh, that was so huge. Oh. There we go. Got the slow. That's the beads. Let's just body block here. Dash out. Oh, he ulted in for me. That's okay. Let's paint him. I don't think they catch. Oh, he stayed. Oh, he... oh Fenrir dies for me. Never mind. There we go. Oh, but then we lost Carabas. Ugh. All right. Well, that's four for three. They shouldn't have dove him that far. I didn't think that the Fenrir was going to get insta killed, but he did. I'm doing so much. I just, I need to be doing more here. Need to be doing more. Do I sell the Relic Dagger? But for what? I'm so tanky. I'm in these fights for so long. I'm 10, 4, and 24 for fuck's sake. Look at me go. I'm doing as much as I can for my team right now. But there has to be something I can do better. That's the mentality I advise all of you to get in. Even if you're in a game where you really think teammates are the reason you're losing, I promise there is something you could be doing better. And you just got to look for it. And also that mentality is just, just better. So. I, I don't want another 500 pot. I'll hold the gold because I'm so close to a 3k pot. A 3k pot might make the difference here. Am I getting the extra 7% mitigations or do I not have enough brats? Might be that. Maybe I need to sell the Manticores for a Stone of Binding. Let's go Ward Gold Fury or Fire Giant and Gold Fury. There we go. We'll let him get that gold. I don't really care right now. All right. Let's go see what's going on over here. Be careful, be careful. Oh, my team's taking a horrible fight right now. No, 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 please, 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 please. There's a Loki here. I need to be up my Carabas. She's walking right to the Loki. I want to be up there with my Capullin, but I have to be here. Going in. There he is. He's just out. All right. We're so close to that. Uh, okay, pot. Let's get some more wards up. I got Hachi beats. Is Carabas dead? Oh, she's so dead. Why is she staying? Why would you stay there, buddy? Well, that's fire. Was stuck? No, you were in your three. I, I mean, I definitely have that on video. Of <laughs> you being in your three, but if you want to say you're stuck, you're stuck, man. I believe you. You're definitely stuck. There's nothing you can do there. Man, this is going to be a really sad loss, but I just, I genuinely don't know what we can be doing more here. The Hades has such a bad build. Hachi has such a bad build. He keeps swapping his items, man. Loki's Loki. I just, I don't understand what it could be. I mean, do I need more aura prots? Like, do I need a Sav or something? Is that what's, what's up here? They do have double assassin, but I feel I have top damage on my team. Y'all. I might, uh, I might still upload this video because although this is looking like a loss, I'm, uh, clearly doing a lot. <laughs> oh, that's not a site you ever want to see a support. You haven't top damage. Granted, Kuzumbos 2 is very, very, very strong right now, but, uh, doesn't mean you ever want to see it, right? 
How's our defense? Why would you take the bomb from me? You rap asked. Let's just get let's just get Chalice here. I spent so much money in wards that getting a Chalice here is just gonna be fine. Let's put it in the first slot. Just because I'm more likely to hit that button. All right. Looks like they're afraid to push, which is phenomenal. They're gonna waste the EFG. That's what we can hope and pray for. Man, I I really hope that you, those of you that are still watching this 44 minute game within this like already 30 minute video that you're finding lots of you rap bastard lots of <laughs> education here just good times oh my guy's just dead yeah please just run if you love me at all please just run my team Let's just throw a Timmy down there. Man, that guy hurts when my two's not active. Let's just leave this. It's just a tower. There's no reason we stay and die for that. Now this. Well, this could be a good play. If I get a good blink in here. In fact, I might just go for it. Forgot to pop my 3k pot. All right, well, what do we do? I hit Hachiman for 1,500 damage, and he is still alive. What is the rest of my team doing right now? All right, I clearly, I just need to be in every single fight, frontlining, doing everything. <laughs> I, I did a 1,500, came back, and did another 1,000. <laughs> okay, okay. I uh, I love Kuzumi. There's, I, I've already said a lot of like what I'm doing right now, right? I'm just blinking in, popping thorns, popping two. That, he's really not mechanically difficult. There are a lot of subtleties to what I'm doing. Like a lot of times when you see me dash in on somebody, I'll cancel it after the third minion just because there's no reason to keep the dash going for that long. There we go. Oh, this could be good if I get stop getting body blocked by minions. Oh. Oh, she missed. That's his beads. This is huge for us, guys. Come on. We got a peel. Wait, looks up there. Why? What are we doing? I just, I don't, I don't understand. Did I kill the raw? There's raw, did raw leave? I actually don't know if raw left or not. Oh, hey, buddy. Man, I do I do so much damage with one ability. That is ridiculous how much damage that does. What what are we doing right now? Oh what is my team doing right now? Get another pot. And if I get my green buff, I'll be at 4k health, and that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I I really hope you're fine. I, I I know I keep saying that it's probably annoying, but like I'm I'm trying my best here. I mean, I think I just all in for this guy. Mm, maybe not. Mm, maybe I do. Good news is the EFG is gone. EFG gone. I'm pretty damn positive I'm the only reason we haven't lost yet. And that kind of sucks to say. Micah Colin's actually playing pretty well. Baba Yaga's playing pretty decent. I would think. It kind of sucks because, like, I'm playing so well. And there are a lot of games you can definitely carry a Susan but I really was hoping I didn't have to upload a loss for this, obviously. Because you want to upload wins. But then again, there are still lots of things you can win from losses. So, whatever you guys learn from, right? I'm peeling as much as I can. I'm ulting people off of my carries. I'm dashing people off of my carries. I'm thornsing the hell out of that Hachiman. There we go. I got the bomb this time. Like, I just, I, I'm struggling to find what more I can do here. Um, If you guys want to start this, this is like our only play, probably. Holy shit.
Kim's not even on the fire tonight. I am fighting four people right now. Three people right now. And my team didn't even do the fire tonight. Look at how much I just did to them. That was all me. Look at this. What are we doing? <laughs> They're just going to heal and come back. I'm just going to go heal and come back. Fuck these guys. Man, I, I just am doing so much for my team. I just need them to not int. All right. Hopefully that means... Oh, in the fire truck. What are we doing? Guys, what are we... Why did we all leave the fire giant? I am, I'm just, I'm flabbergasted at this point, guys. All right. Oh, we got it. Let's go. Kill this Hades, please. Fuck his timeline. I don't care. I got him. I got him. Y'all. I love you. Whoever stayed to watch the rest of this video pan out, I love you so goddamn much. I never got to do the fire blink strat on these guys. They all had fucking beads up every time because my finisher was just insane every time. Oh my gosh. I'm actually so happy that we won this game. Thank you all so, 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 so much for watching. Hopefully that was educational. As you saw, you definitely can carry games from support, especially on the bow with this amazing build. If you just play them right. What it was, man, is just they had such a bad... My, okay, my team backed off the fire for whatever reason. For whatever reason, they were just going to give them the fire giant. I spammed, go back in on the fire. The enemy team wasn't ready for that, and then they just, they just kind of died. Now, let me see how much I did. Me to <laughs> two. All right, forty-seven thousand damage done to players, and then a hundred and forty-six thousand damage mitigated. I think it's safe to say we did pretty well that game, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this Kuzuma guide. I'm gonna be ending it here with this gameplay. I have a lot of editing need to do, editing to do. Um, I will be uploading much more. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say, honestly. I'm, my, my brain's kind of mush. <laughs> I, 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 I played very hard in that, in that game. Um, the only one in the entire lobby that out damaged me was the Loki. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I, uh, yeah, I'll be uploading a lot more support oriented content like this. Um, you know, I used to make content under the name Lysidious. And then, like I said, I deleted that channel just because I wanted to rebrand that name wasn't actually ever mine to begin with. And I just, I wanted to detach from the group of people that it used to be that the name was associated with. So this is the new channel. This is all me. Um, you know, it would be nice if I probably turned off that overlay, right? That's that I made that by the way, in case you were curious, that new overlay that goes over the thing. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you play Kuzumbo some more and you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Love you.